three more people have died, bringing the number of deaths to 19 persons from the accident that occurred at about 1.30 a.m. today at the Achim Asafo stretch of the Accra Kumasi Highway. Uh, those are the visuals from the uh, accident you're seeing there. According to police, the two ground bed vehicles collided head on after the bus from Accra overtook a vehicle at the Akim Asafo Junction without observing traffic from the opposite direction. In the process, he crashed into the, bar, the other bus. The drivers of the two buses did not survive. On the phone now is regional MTTD Commander Chief Superintendent Stephen Ahiatafu to give us more. Hello, Mr. Ahiatafu. Good afternoon. Mr. Ahiatafu, I am grateful that you joined us. We understand that three more people have been, uh, have been confirmed dead, bringing the total number to 19. What updates can you give us, sir? Uh, yeah, it is true. Uh, we, we had uh, two, uh, three additional people dead. Uh, two from KB Hospital and one from Mr. Wang Government Hospital. Hmm. Well, what is the latest on those who were injured? And uh, as this is to Sumung Hospital, uh, we had seven females on admission and then eight male on admission and making sixteen. Hmm. Initially they were they were sixteen and uh, one died. Hmm. So living fifteen at Suhum Hospital. Hmm. Government and Hospital. Then uh, we have uh, at Asafu Health Center those that were sent there they were all treated and discharged. Okay. And then the 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 two drivers and the one in charge a vehicle number DT fifty six twenty nine dash one eight has been identified as a Poku Asante Emmanuel, age twenty eight years. While the other driver who was in charge DE 5510-15 was also identified as Sophie George, age 55 years. Mm. So, so far, these are the information that we have. You have. Can you help us? And then, uh, mm. those who were sent to Kibi Government Hospital, mm -hmm. uh, we now have three males on admission and then five new females. So, Let's making eight. eight. The rest were all, you know, treated and discharged. Okay. So from my understanding of what you have said, we have 15 people on admission at the hospital nearby. Then the Asafo Health Center has treated and discharged those that came there or that went there. And then you have Kibi Government Hospital with eight victims now. Perfectly correct. You are right. Yeah. C can you describe to us the nature of the injuries that these people are dealing with? Oh, you see, the injury, the uncomfortable injury, you know. Uh -huh. You know, this, uh, uh, how do you call it? These are uh, clear ground bed buses. They are very light. You can see. They are fiber. Uh -huh. mm. So there are multiple injuries. I, I can't say, you know, specify. Right. Uh -huh. And are so they we responding? That we mm -hmm. shouldn't record, uh, you know, further death. And uh, we are praying for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do, 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 do they, do, do, are they responding to treatment? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, as you, as I rightly said earlier, earlier uh, you know, most of them have been treated and discharged. Mm. When we visited the, the, the hospital this mm -hmm. afternoon. So what next, as far as investigations are concerned, what next is the police service going to do? Uh, oh, yes. The, as far as the one happens, we, 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 the investigation has just begun. And um, visiting the scene, uh, you realize that that place is a curve where that, that hasn't happened. It's a curve. Everyone who were there, one Twitter bus driver, you know, overtook a stretch of vehicles. Hmm. The same spot. When I even stopped him, he didn't stop. So I have to chase him and bring him back. When I brought him back, not only he hasn't got a lantern, so we could realize he entered the bush and ran away, leaving the car behind. 
Wow. You see? So this, this thing, uh, we, we, we continue doing education, 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 but much depends on transport operator. Before they give a time to a driver, they should see the psyche, the, 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 how drivers respond mm. to situations. Because that, if you even look on the ground, on the road, there are drawings, even fresh drawings, mm. indicating that no cash will overtake at that corner, that case. But drivers are still doing it, mm. you see. Right. Drivers yeah. are still doing it, so it's a challenge. The, uh, as Chief Superintendent Tahir Tafu, we'll say a very big thanks to you. Is there anything that our audience needs to know at this point that I haven't asked that you'd like to share with us before you go? Sorry? Is there anything else that we need, to, our viewers need to know that I haven't asked which you'd like to oh, share with that, us before that's you go? okay. Investigation is ongoing. And, uh, but, you know, I went to the team with road safety, some of the team from Accra and from the region. Uh, DVLA just left my office. So we are trying to team up. You know, road safety is a team. Yeah, it's not the police alone. Hmm. A whole lot of other institutions are involved. But just so a quick one, though. Have you the been... road safety, mm. the DVLA, the police, ambulance, we are all going to come on board uh, to see what we can do. Uh -huh. We we'll have to start the education again and add... Uh, up with the enforcement. So that's what we're going to do. H have you been in touch with the owners of this, uh, these uh, vehicles? Oh, not yet. Not yet. It's too early. Not yet. Okay. I'm sure by now they might have heard it. So they, they will come to us. Not yet. Okay. Uh, Chief Superintendent, thank you very much for your time. Chief Superintendent Steven Ahiatafu is the Eastern Regional Police Commander. Uh, we'll be speaking to, uh, well, we've lost our correspondent, uh, Maxwell Kudeko, there, but we've got very good information from the police. Let me take you now to the central region where another three lives have been lost in a gory accident at St. Chim on the Asin Nyankumasi Road. The accident occurred on their way to a funeral. Adom Regional Correspondent Alfred Amo, who visited the scene, joins me now with more. Hello, Alfred. Hmm. Well, I don't have uh, Alfred at the moment, but those are visual you're seeing there at the accident, a scene of the accident where uh, people who are going for a funeral, there you see them uh, looking over some of the, the dead bodies there.